Okay, so in this episode, we are going to see what is nesting or nested rules and their properties. So in the last episode, we have learned the watch command and created some CSS or SCSS files and included that CSS inside this HTML file. So first thing first, what is nesting? So let's create this CSS file. So I have this CSS file and here I have this main and inside main I have this h1 tag. So let's suppose I want to change something in h1 tag. So do one thing, create one more h1 tag and move it outside this div and say it like another h1. Okay. So next, let's go to CSS file and here what I want to do, I want to say main having h1 make its color, let's say blue. Okay. And when I refresh this page, it's only the h1 inside the main div is having this blue color, not the other one. So what's the use of that nesting? So now the comes the nesting part. So I will delete this thing save this file and go to this sas file now we don't have to define that mid dot main again because we are inside main and whatever i type inside this it will get that thing as it is inside it is nested inside the main class so h1 having a color of now i will use new color so let's say gray so gray and when I refresh this page, it's now gray, only the H1 inside the main, not outside the main. And obviously my watch command is running. That's why I, when I just save this, it reflect here. And when you go to CSS file, you can see the same thing we have written last time in normal CSS language. It's compiled and it processed to same thing, but you don't have to say dot main again. This is not looking very good, but if you have many things like main, then UI, then ally, then A, then it will come very handy. So let's try one more thing. And what I will do, I will just give this whole thing inside anchor tag. So anchor having href of nothing. <laughs> okay, so I want to say A inside H1, which is inside main. Okay. So I will say A and what I will do. So let's say A having background color of red. So when I hit save and let's see here, no error, then refresh the page. It's now having red color and this is only for A, not for H1 and not for other A. If Now if I move this inside A, anchor tag giving a href now hit refresh it's now become blue it's it's default color of the anchor tag for that browser but no red background okay so that's the simple nesting thing now let's try one thing just delete this closing bracket and let's see here so whenever you are having some error in your scss file and you save it will give you the error so it's very amazing thing so now let's refresh again okay so the nesting is simple thing but what is nesting property okay so let's say i want to having h1 having font size of let's say only 13 pixel so hit refresh it's good and again font family having a real now save this file and refresh this page and i think it's <laughs> too small to see so i will move it to 23 so hit refresh again and i think it, i have to say 43 <laughs> oops not here so now you can see it's this is times new roman but this is a real so I think I have to remove this red color. It's looking very ugly. So I will say simply white refresh. Ah, it's so nice. <laughs> okay. So it's having the Arial uh, font, but you can see the font having the two property. 
so instead of this what I can do I will say font and then I will say family having Arial then size having let's say 50 for getting the changes okay so delete these things save this file refresh this page and now it's coming back I think we have some error no no we don't have any error so size is 50 pixel it's not working oh yeah so I have to include here the colon so font colon so go here and refresh this page again and now you can see the 50 pixel uh, font size and the font family that means the font is Arial so these are the things which is very very useful and these all things reflect in your CSS file as the normal CSS file normal CSS syntax the font family Arial font size 50 pixel as I have written last time and these are simple simple thing you can see the anchor tag it's dot main then h1 then a and you can see here it's dot main h1 then a it's all indented and it's all inside the other elements so this is the coolest part of the sas so if you have any doubt in this episode please feel free to comment me don't forget to share this video with your developer friends don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then be happy and goodbye